Sunday is the best time of the week. Why? You know it. Siyempre, bukod sa panonood ng Corina interviews here on Net25, meron tayong ta-da! Sunday is Tacos Day here in the Atayde household. And, paano ba gawin yung tacos na yan? Yan ang sikreto ni Silvia Sanchez na ibubuko sa atin ni Ria and Arjo Atayde aside from many other revelations. Yan naman talaga ang pinuntan nyo rito, yung mga revelations, di ba? Puntahan na natin sila sa kusina. And eto na nga tayo! Hello, Ms. Karina. Rian Arjo, Hello. we are going to make tacos today. Mm -hmm. Hindi po ito Lutong Dasa or Lutong Sanchez Rojas. Ito po ay Corina Interviews. And ang paggawa ng tacos sa isang bahagi lang ng pag-uusapan natin. Say hi guys, pag may time lang. Hello po! Hello po sa inyo lahat. Ayan, masyado silang intense. Sa pagluluto nila, nakalimutan nilang bumati. Kayo talaga. Okay, so is this really a thing pagka Sundays? Yes. Ah, whenever talaga. Yeah, whenever we go. Pag-trip po namin ng taco. Really? You just make? Yeah. But this is the recipe ng nanay. Yes po. Secret recipe niya. Secret recipe. Talagang She pre-mixed na siya for us. She yes. mixes it already. And, and then, then we just add whatever else. Hindi ah, niya na pinapahalo. Ayaw yung talaga ibigay. Ah, <laughs> wala pa kami doon. When we get oh, older. Oh no. So wala tayong revelation ng Ang recipe. Ang pinaka-revelation is it's in the beef. It's also, you know, getting quality That's ingredients. That's not much to say. Huh? It's yeah, but it's in the beef. It's in the beef. In the beef. In of course the beef. it's beef. <laughs> okay. Ah, pero ba Quality, quality beef. So, naka-preset. So, nagpapanggap lang kayo dyan. Hindi naman po. Nagsislice talaga tayo for our condiments. Parang gusto kitang turuang maghiwa ng ano. Na maayos? Ng square? Ay, nakatakot eh. Parang takot akong maputulan ng daliri, Miss Kate. Ganon. Pero di ba? Pero nagluluto ka talaga, Kong? More of ano po, burger. Mga basics lang po. Kala ko, more of kain po ako. Pero mas kain din po. Mas kain. Mas kain. Ayun. Ngayon, tatanungin natin kung... Si Main ba at saka si Sanjo ang nagluluto para sa kanila. <laughs> But that's for later. At marami pang iba here on Karina Interviews on a Taco Sunday with Arjo and Ria. So, yes, they're here. Ang hirap nilang hagilapin, I must say. Busy kayo. I think schedule. schedule. There's a lot going on. We don't need schedules. It's a problem. Correct. Oh. Ayun ang problema pag magkapatid. Kasi magka iba ang buhay. Hmm. Also, iba rin ang karera. Also, mahirap talagang ipag, ano, ipagsama. But, you know, pareho silang anak ni Sylvia Sanchez and Art Atayde. Ayun. Pero ang balita ko, Bilang mga bata, para daw kayong aso at pusa. Tama ba? Yes. 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 Sobra po. So, Sobra po. So, you're a family. How many siblings? Four? Four. Four. Kayo yung ate at kuya. Yes. Alright. So, kayo yung magkalapit ang edad. Yes po. So, po, a year and... Four months. Four months. A year and four months. So, malapit lang, ano? So, mahirap ka naman yun. Nasundan ka agad, right? So, how is Sylvia Sanchez as a mom? Ikaw. I mean, growing up, ah. Growing up. Teacher talaga. Like, she's really disciplinarian po talaga yun. Sobra. Between Papa Art and Sylvia, si Sylvia yung disciplinarian. Yes po, my mom. Pero pag malala na yung problema, my dad. So there's a balance between them. May oh, yeah. good cup, bad cup. <laughs> Kanino kayo mas takot? <laughs> Parang same po kasi. Same. Kasi nga, si Daddy, 
he hindi naman siya magsasalita until kailangan. So matakot yes. ka na pag magsalita siya. Si Mommy naman, salita na. Salita. salita. Okay. So medyo na sana eh. Yeah, yung... uh, okay, pero really, between who's scary or what, ano po eh, parehas kasi. You were just... Uh, You just don't want to disappoint. Yeah, no? definitely. You just don't want to disappoint. Right. You know, ah, but... ganon. Oh. Okay. So, as children of prominent people, kayo naman, I mean, now, you are Arjo, una, anak ni Silvia. Ganon. Mm. May ganon. Sa, sa, sa showbiz. Po. Sa showbiz. Hindi anak naman, ni Silvia. Well, uh, it, either po anak ni Silvia or not, it's okay po with me. Kasi anyway, she, she really started the whole <laughs> the whole thing. That's why nandito din po kami sa industriya. No? Yeah. It's also, ano na yun eh, uh, Uh, blood, tears, and sweat niya po during her days, no, when she started in the industry. Tapos, nag, uh, kapag-build siya ng magagandang relasyon sa mga tao sa loob, which also took care of us eventually. So, we're really thankful right. for. Mm-hmm. Right, uh, right, but, right. And, um, as a family that grew together, alam mo, nagpalipat-lipat din ba kayo ng houses? Oh, oh. Yes, oh, oh, yes. Diba? Yes. yes. Oh, oh. The very first one was in... Actually, we don't really remember. Para puro townhouse before. We had oh. the Greenwoods, we had the Parkwoods, we had the Kingsville. Town Philippines, and country. Wow, really? Yeah. Yeah. Iniikot po namin yung Marikina before. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, totoo ba? Po, everywhere. Yeah. And yun nga, like you said po, we saw her parents grow also. Yeah. And that also means financially, like their yes. financial capabilities also grew right. as they grew. And uh-huh. everything is just... Like, we grew with that as well. Oo. Oh, oh. So, nasanay naman kayo. I mean, it wasn't so difficult as kids na palipat-lipat kayo, gano'n? Uh, maybe we, hindi po namin naramdaman masyado because mm. they made sure naman that we felt much love that mm-hmm. we were, and we weren't take, hindi, they didn't take us for granted. Wala pong gano'ng klaseng. We didn't feel that a single bit, no? Even okay. if we knew that they weren't there. Laging may kapalit, may mamita, may Lola Rose, our Lola Rose. Oh. So, there's the Lolas to take place, the Lolos. The titas, the aunts, yung titos din po. So, we're very thankful. Right. Pero ang galing din, ano? Two girls and two boys. Yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah. Pero you being the two ate and kuya, ano naman ang ano, dynamics yung dalawa? Ano ba? May bonding ba? Lalaki, babae? Between the two of us po. Yes. Opo, definitely. Mm-hmm. Um, like, it's so obvious. Are just one of my best friends in life. Mm. And I think the same goes for him. Like, I'd like it to really be. happens. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Ganun po talaga yan. It really happens. I'm fascinated. Mm-hmm. I've something to look friend. forward to. Okay. Yeah, parang oh. it really changed for us nung mas tumanda na po kami. Same set of friends, tapos same ng trip sa buhay. Mm-hmm. Especially now, same career. Alam niyo po yun. Yung parang the world put us close together and as erratic and as gulo life could be, we always had each other. Oh, wow. Talaga. Oh, oh. So, nagtatakipan din kayo nung una? Yeah, before. Oh, no, before. Aminin nyo na, mara, come on. Congressman yes. ka na, no? Yes. Ikaw yes. bukod ka na, no? Yes. So, aminin nyo na yun. Yes, oh, yes. Oh, po. Yes, po. Oh, like what? Ako na lang po, since maano kami. Kasi our parents before, like si mom, strict nga po sa paglalabas, ganyan. Mm. Minsan ako, bawal, binawalan ako lumabas na wala siya. Okay. Eh, ito naman, parang gusto din yan ang gawin yung sarili niya. So, ang gagawin ko, Arjo, mom's gonna call, ganyan. Kunwari na lang magkasama tayo. Yeah, ano ko yung group call? Okay, <laughs> yun ang mga style. Oh, well, small stuff like that, na parang, mm. it's funny now, pero sana pala di ko din ginawa. Kasi mm. diba... Bakit naman? That's eh, all part of it. Eh, parents ba? Oh, so, parang okay. natakot akong gawin din sa amin ng mga anak namin. Oo oh, nga. So, oh, and you? Paano ka naman tinulungan ni sister? A lot eh. Mas studious din po kasi si Ria eh. Mm-mm. So, definitely in terms of school or whatever project, she helps me out. Imbis na ako yung tumutulong sa kanya. Siya gumagawa so, ng assignment water. mo. <laughs> yes, may ganun. Ah, may ganun. May ganun no, po. At least honest ka, di ba? Yes, may ganun. Ah. We, had, we had our experiences or... Ano talaga? So, sabi ko nga, maybe um, that's why the family is also so intact now because we've been through a lot growing up with right. the parents. Right. Diba? So, oh. yun po. So, it was oh, really okay. an experience. Oh, struggles yan. Yes. Growth yes. requires pain. Eh. Mismo, yes, right? it does. Growth and requires there was pain. a lot of pain. Yes. <laughs> But there was also a lot of growth. Yeah. Growth and joy. Yes. Di ba? Also. Pagkakataon nyo na ito, sa totoo lang, magsabi na it. lahat, total mo wala dito si mami, si pa, papa, uh, maririnig na lang nila ito pag pinanood na nila. So, okay, truth speaking na tayo, pinaparusahan din kayo. Yeah. A- ano yan, merong sinturon? Ano yun? Sinturon, pero yung buckle, 
Monggo. Oh, oh. Luhod sa monggo, luhod sa asin, luhod sa asin at monggo. Pasok sa sa Ay, grabe po yung... Kain yeah. ng sili. <laughs> May kain din ng sili. Oh, yes, well, sobra. Talaga. Grabe po yung ano, yung when we fight, pag nag-aaway magkakapatid. Oh, Masyari, naging physical yung aaway kami. Oh, Kinangagat siya, oh, sabunot ako ulo niya ngayon. Oh, oh. And then, uh, aaway. Si mami lalabas yan. Haharap kami sa altar. Haharap po kami sa altar, ha? Magpapalalagay siya ng asin o munggo dun sa newspaper. Tapos lalagyan niya kami ng libro dito. Then we have to kneel down in front of the altar until she says stop. Tapos pag nagmura po kami, ano to child abuse, no? Nire-report ko lang nila. Tapos yung ano, yung pag nagmumura, she hated that. Pero siya sobrang magmura. Pero diba? Noong time na yun, grabe siya mo, pero ayaw niya nakakarinig ng mura. Noong time na, malakas pa mura si mami. And then, pag nagmura ka, isang yung nabibili sa palengke mismo na may sile na plastic na ganyan na transparent. Pagka kinuha niya sa ref yun, buo po yun. Bubuksan niya yun, titirisin niya at papakain siya. Ganon! Mas siya yung naka-experience na. Ano yun? Ano yun? So, nagsisisigaw ka, nag-iiyak ka, ganyan. Oo, tapos pagkatapos po nun, ganon din siya. Ano, sukal! Gatas! Gatas! Pwede magbibigay sa'yo. Damage control ka. Oh my God! She was a lot younger, so iba yung yeah, discipline, iba yung discipline sa But amen it, right. compared sa dalawang mas bata. Yes. Ah, so the two kids now, hindi na nakakaranas ng munggo, bigas, asin, at kombinasyon. Yes. Wala nang ganun. Wala nang ganun. Iba din po, iba din po. So ngayon, siguro. imbis na sili ka lang, sina lang. <laughs> siguro. I don't know what that is. Mukasim test uh, na lang tayo. <laughs> ganun. Kaya ka sili. Okay. So, yeah, wow. Wow, wow, wow. So did it work? I mean, um, I, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Gawa rin naman po. Parang we turned out okay naman po. Okay. <laughs> so it really helped a lot. Wow. Din. Okay. Ipagbubootcamp ko yung mga anak ko kay Ria and Arjo, but not Sylvia. <laughs> <laughs> Ang alam ko rin sa nanay niyo, na, and, and even your dad, they're really very generous. Very. So, paano naman sila mag-reward pag good boy and girl kayo? Love language po nila yata is giving gifts talaga. Uh -oh. That's their primary love language. Mm. Apart from acts of service, mas giving gifts. So, onting ano lang, onting kunwari, mataas grades mo, may regalo ka. And si mami kasi sobrang thoughtful. Pag nag-a-abroad kami, never siyang bumibili para sa sarili niya. Mas, ay, ito para kay Arjo, ito para kay Ria, ito para kay Shavi, kay Jella. Ako, daddy mo, yung mas para sa amin po talaga yung mga binibili niya. Ah. So, so, grabe sila mag-reward din talaga. Really? Yeah. I love it when she rewards me with her tacos. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> Kung Later. ako anong ginawa ko, tama, pero may mga reward like, din ako. She's very thoughtful. We very have a very thoughtful, thoughtful and generous like set of parents. Oo oh, nga. Oh, we are so blessed. Oh, what kind of parents will you be? Kayo naman. Ideally, the same. You know, yung mapalaki din namin ng maayos yung mga anak namin with love. Same amount of love or even more than what they gave us. Ganun, I think. Minus the? Minus the, yes. Yes. The good moments. The good moments. Different times na rin po at this point, hindi na ganun eh. Dati kasi normal po yun. Oo. Ang dami kong kaibigang na ganun din. Eh, ganyan din si Dina Bonnie B. Sabi niya, ganun din ang ginagawa sa kanya. Hindi ako nakaramdam ng ganun, ha? Try niyo po. Try niyo po. Ngayon siguro gagawin ko para lang makarelate ako. Para lang malaman ko, kaya ba yung Pepe and Pilar ito? Kasi effective eh. Nagiging congressman at saka nagiging... Award-winning actress, oh, <laughs> hindi ba? So, but if you were to like um, pass on something valuable, mula sa nanay, ano yun? Yung tinuro sa inyo? Ako siguro wag po manino. Treat everybody with respect, regardless kung uh, boss mo sila or somebody that works for you. That's nice. Respect and kindness. With you, what do you think? Same din po. Practically, we grew up together. They always reminded us of the same values. To respect, no. Um, always live in kindness. No, it doesn't hurt to be kind. Hindi masama maging mabayet. Um, it's not about being trying. You're not being. Hindi yung sa gusto mo maalala ka. It's more of just living life, really with pure respect towards people. Again, tulad ng sinabi po ni Ria, hindi na ni Nino at all sa buhay. 
And yun lang. At ang pangyabangan mo ngayon Kabaitan talaga po. bilang politiko, hindi ka pwedeng manino. Hindi naman po. Hindi ba, hindi, no? hindi. Mula sa pinakamataas hanggang pinakamababa. Yes, no? po. Ang kausap mo. Yes, po. Sino <laughs> killer sa Katleya killer? Oh, po. They will reveal it po. Uh, Ay, hindi pwedeng sabihin. Yeah. Surprise! Surprise! Yes, it's a surprise. <laughs> surprise! Because the story, the story na binuupo namin is really such a mind-boggling uh, story. Hindi po siya yung... Regular lang. It was really well thought of na ah, story po. Oh, wow. So, mapapaisip po talaga. Uy, malapit na. Kailan ba yun? June 1. June 1 po. Oh, June 1. Sa Prime Video. Sa Prime wow. Video. All episodes will drop po in one day. Ganon? Yes. yes po. So, iba ko ay nasa inyo yung kaso. Ang pagbabalik ng Jean Rivera? Pero pa, sir. Ako! Ako lang ang makakatulong sa'yo. Naintindihan mo? Wala ka nang pwedeng lapitan. Ako lang! Biru mo from Contrabida to Congressista. O oh, in the house is Arjo Atay de Quezon City's first district representative. Mahusay na artista, negosyante, kongresista. Happy pang love life. All na. Sana all. Ano ba yan? Ay, parang na. ano, parang kang juggling ass. No? Right? We had to wait for him because saan ka magaling? I came from another event po. It's uh, with the uh, Filipino star ngayon. Which okay. uh, helps um, our constituents learn more of how to... Uh, the title po kasi ng project is Why is a Quata? So practically, they teach our constituents on how to be smarter sa paggastos, especially that life... Uh, uh, what the cost of living is really expensive right, right. now, given Parang the economical... Parang financial literacy. Yes po. Oo, yes. ganun. Yes. Oh, hindi ka nahirapan? Um, hindi naman po. There's a lot of work. There's a lot of work, definitely po. Pero um, going through it, learning a lot, work in progress as I am. Pero we're getting to implement naman the projects that are needed. And uh, I'm not giving anyone a hard time. And it's always um, aligned with... Uh, Mayor Joy Belmonte as well. Correct. Because they have the master plans then po. We talk to the stakeholders needed and are really concerned about the certain situations or problems that really need to be given the the, uh, the action to um, align naman po. So we're really working towards uh, progressing. Pero ano ang pinakamahirap na part ng pagiging congressman? I can't say anything po really. That's madami po kasi every, everything is hard I think no? for for us, um, definitely, we are always misunderstood by people, even us newbies, na walang along kalokohan, no, nadadamay parate. But, uh, you know, moving forward, um, the hardest part, siguro, is, um, you know, just practically ha trying to understand every situation, everyone. No? And it, uh, hindi ko po may explain eh, pero practically, um, you're absorbing everything. Correct. I'm not complaining, mm -hmm. don't get me wrong. I'm just saying that. You know, nothing's easy any job, I, I guess, I suppose, no? Hindi naman po madali. Pero this one also is a different type of industry that really makes us learn so much, especially us new ones, no? In different angles, from oh. legislative to how to talk to people, how to approach problems. And yun po, we're, uh, I just really am trying to absorb as much as I can, no? The point of us newbies as well is hindi, pinakimportante is hindi marunong, hindi nagmamarunong, but you know, would definitely ask for assistance in case needed. Sa amin po lumalapit also for um, health benefits, obviously for um, DOH with mm -hmm. our partnership and all other agencies as I get, as I said, concerned. Dun po, nagkakaroon kami ng... Um, Aggressive help towards mm. health, towards and our office is always open, especially for pagdating sa tulong, okay. pagdating sa health, especially senior citizens or para, whatever age po. Para ang serious serious ni Arjo ka usap. <laughs> Ganyan ka ba talaga ka serioso ka usap para? Hindi naman po. Hindi. hindi. Naman, hindi, hindi. Ay hindi ah. Mula nung una kita makilala, artista ka palang. Parang <laughs> parang serious ka na. Hindi. <laughs> hindi, hindi, hindi. Hindi. Ah okay. Hindi. Sige. Kasi bilang artista. Medyo ang dating din niya, di ba? Character actor ako, ah. Parang ganyan. Kontrabida ako dito, ah. By design, yun ang gusto mo talaga? Yung kontrabida ka? Uh, no, no, ano lang po. Uh, it's a career path. Pero normally, when I'm with people naman, I'm jolly. And then, I don't, ayoko po nung mag-isa sa tent, yung mga ganong classing uh -oh. works. Because I like talking to people. Pero yung path po ng pagiging kontrabida... At first, obviously, sino bang hindi gusto magbida? Let's admit it. Oh, At the oh. beginning, especially pag bago ka. No? You're dreaming, you're aspiring. So, um, yun po sana yung gusto ko. But when I got in, and enjoy ko yung acting, I saw the... I saw yung range ng possibilities of characters and the range where 
there's no limit sa pagiging kontrabida. There's no right, there's no wrong, there's no left, there's no right. Ganun sa, well, iba din po yung sa bida. Diba? I mean, I envy them for what they do. But with us din po, obviously, it's different. So, nung nakapasok po ko dun sa pagiging kontrabida, they gave me an opportunity. I really enjoyed it po. So, I studied mm. it. I just, I just went with it. Sabi ko, I want to be a kontrabida. What's your first kontrabida role? Um, ang una ko po was... Um, dugong buhay with EJ. Hindi ko alam kung kakayanin ko. Hindi mo lang alam kung ano ang itinaya ko para mag- ah. That was his first lead, uh, ano po, teleserya. And oh. then, um, from there, after dugong buhay, I did um, Pure Love naman with sila Alex and Joseph, Alex Gonzaga and Joseph Marco, uh, Yen Santos, and then eventually, I jumped into Provinciano na po. Ikaw ang tumawag sa akin para pumunta ako sa lugar. Ako? Paano ko napunta dun? Inutusan ako ni General Borja na pumunta sa Presinto 4 sa Sambalo. Ay pumunta ka dun, mag-imbestiga ka, nandun kami. Di ba? Oo, oh, nandun kami. Doon ka na rin nagtagal, ano? Matagal din po kasi talaga yun siya. <laughs> <laughs> so, ako nang tagal, oh. Tumanda na kayo dyan, eh. <laughs> oh, po. Oy, pero, iba ka nakakalimutan na ng tao, ah. Si Arjo nagsimula yan, talagang child star pa lang. Na mukhang ito yung anak ni Silvia Sanchez talaga, na nine years old pa lang. Artista na, and you wanted it, right? Yes po, I really wanted. Kinukulit ko sila. Sabi ko, I want, gusto ko mag-artista, gusto ko mag-artista. Nine years old, nag apply pa po ako noon. That was Esperanza Days. Ah. Tapos nag apply pa po ako yung Direk Rory. Na I wanted to be an artist. Tapos, What do you mean? Nasa nine year old, punta ka kay Direk Rory? I want sa set po, sumasama ko kay mommy. Ah, oo. Oh. So, kasi busy sila noong time ngayon. So, the only time I could see her is if I go with her to the set. So, during our free days, me and Ria, nandun kami sa van. We play with sila Eman and the younger kids on the set. Oh. So, na-expose din po kami sa set ni mommy okay. parate. Lumapit po kay Direk Rory. Sabi ko, Direk Rory, gusto ko mag-artista. And Alam bang nanay laughed. mo na sinabi mo yun? Sinabi po ni Direk Rory kay mommy. And then obviously, my mom had an idea that we were, ano na, na influence na kami ni mommy slowly. And then when I hit nine years old, this was before I was nine, ha, what I was telling you po, Ms. Corina. And then when I hit nine, um, they invited yung mga quote-unquote anak ng artista to be part, part of, of the new Ang TV 2. So we auditioned po, tapos nakapasok ako. Ang dami ko din batchmates nung time na yun, during the time na until now they're there. Sila JM, Empress, JM de Guzman, Empress, Dennis Laurel, um, ang dami pa po. No? Mm-hmm. Um, anyways, they were also our batch in Ang TV 2. But uh, during the time I was very young, my family was still more into school, school ka muna. At saka na yung trabaho. So, um, after ang TV, after one year po ata yun, I stopped na. And then my dad, they were giving me another opportunity during the time, I won't forget. I was thankful for that, pero hindi na po namin tinanggap. Because nga, again, my family decided for me to just focus first and do it after na lang. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Okay, but uh, enjoy ka. Enjoy ka sa pag aate bata ka pa lang. Oh, po. I, I really just wanted to act. Correct. That's, that's all. I enjoy it. I Pero really enjoy itong it. ang revelation ng kanyang nanay, Corina, huwag kang magkamali. Gusto talaga din niyang magpolitiko. Gusto nga niya maging senador. Oh. Bata ka pa lang daw. Yes. Bata po. ka pa lang. Ang sinasagot mo na, I want to be a senator. Talaga ba? Yes. Po. Alam mo na ang ginagawa ng senator dati pa? Uh, no, but really po, during, of course, during the time I was very young, no, the most exposure I had to politics was my dad's brother. Who was who's also in public service? Mm. We also have certain relatives as well, po. So that was the most, no. And Sunday talks about government, of course, their opinions as a family. No? That was our Sunday. That's how I grew up knowing about politics as well. And uh, they also used to make us read the newspaper. So um, those were the times, na you know, I, I didn't like reading much, but <laughs> really, we would, when we try to read, we na pa na po namin din oh. mga input, especially mga headlines. It's just in front, so. Um, you were exposed to the type. I wanted to be a senator when I was younger for a reason that I would ask questions as basic as what position do I need to be able to be of help to a lot of people? Okay, because we were, we were exposed to um, foundations, to um, family just helping, um, random foundations. So that's, that's the type of environment we grew up in. So, yung ganun po siguro na adapt sa amin, no? and um, much of values that, that's much needed in mm. government, I definitely could bring with me no? to Correct. wherever I am right now. Correct. So, so matagal ka munang artista, di ba? Bago, Opo, yes, yes. bago, 
Ayun na, tatakbo na. What, what finally made you decide, magpopolitiko na ako talaga? Well, that's such a hard question to Ms. Corina. But really, they have a lot of answers for that. No? As, as, as cliche as it may sound, and different ways, I just really want to help. No? Mm. Um, I, mean, no, I know that's such a basic reason. Uh -oh. no, we have a lot of reasons. May it be flood, may it be food. We all have, we, we all have to find solutions for mm. the people. And uh, most of all, siguro, what really made me decide also was the pandemic. You know, given the situation, um, I don't want to add you know, drama to my story, but it's more of family related, people related, people not getting help, you know. And uh, it was always an idea of mine. And the ABS shut down also. We don't have a job anymore. So obviously, what am I doing standing here, living comfortably? I have to do my part. Uh -huh. I wanted to be more of a responsible <laughs> person. You know, not trying to do good. Not try I'm not trying to prove anything at all. I just really want to do what I want to do, which is to help people. Mm. So may time ka pa ba sa ibang bagay? Parang dami mong ginagawa? Oh, but, uh, ta uh, ma Time management. <laughs> Time management. Oh, oh, oh. Ilang porsyento si Maine doon? <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, ano po, uh, a lot of time. Oh. I always, I always, as much as I'm free po, we get to spend time together, um, even during dinner or late dinner. Mm. Um, so we really try to catch up as much as possible. Kasi busy din siya, no? Opo, opo. Very oh. busy din also. And totoo naman, the blooming daughter of <laughs> Sylvia Sanchez, Ria Atay. De, teka muna, bakit? Daughter pa rin ba of Sylvia Sanchez ang tawag sa'yo? Parang hindi na, right? Parang, I feel like, Miss Kay, at this point, it is who I am. I okay. am my mother's daughter, so it's fine with me. Pero I'd like to think that in terms of my career, I've paved the way for myself na rin. I think. Personally. You have! Oh, thank you. Thank I, you. I affirm. Oh, Oo thank naman. you. Oo naman. Well, you know, it's really difficult. Okay, now I have to ask. So, Bata ka pa lang, so artista na si mama. Uh, of course, negosyante si dad. Um, so, kailan ka nagkaroon ng malay that she was artista? I think nung Esperanza, she would take us to the set. Okay. So, parang early on, we already knew na, okay, so that's what she's into. So, as a child, watching your mom, nag-isip ka ba na, gusto ko rin mag-artista? Uh, not as much as Arjo. Mm. Si Arjo kasi po, bata pa lang kami, gusto niya na talaga. In fact, he did Ang TV too. Nine years old? Yes, yes. Okay. Ako kasi, why you also study din Poveda? Oh. If you're in Poveda, bawal kang mag-artista. Ay, tama. So, it was a, uh, I couldn't. Uh, you okay, know? okay. Pero, I did not picture myself uh, doing this when I was younger. Especially kasi, di ba, like, I mean, anak ni Sylvia Sanchez. Mm -hmm. That's a hard thing to get out of. Uh -oh. That is my reality. Right. And then, dumagdag pa si Arjo, kapatid ni Arjo, di ba? So, oh, para, um, I didn't want to be in a position where I'd have to be compared or where it would be hard for me to get out of the shadow of someone. Okay. But here we are. Okay. <laughs> here we are. Pero, may sarili ka naman, di ba? Pero, mm -hmm. bago arti-artista, di ka ba nangarap maging stewardess, accountant, cashier? Di ba yun ang mga sagot natin nung maliit tayo? <laughs> what do you want to be when you grow up? Cashier, stewardess, also with you, Akala astronaut. <laughs> Doctor, pero toko toko sa dugo. Ah. So cannot be. And then eventually, akala ko I do PR or events planning. Kasi Oy, bagay. Parang bagay. I love planning. I love all of that. Pero so organized ka? I'm a little bit type A, yes. Oh, wow. I feel you. I feel you! <laughs> ah, tato, you feel me, talaga. Yeah. Gusto ko type A. The feeling ko type A si Pilar. Okay, sige. We're on the right track. Yes. Okay. So, event organizing. I, I figured that could be my So, in path. the family, ikaw rin ba yung, ano, mas type A ka kaysa sa nanay mo? I super. Ay, wow, grabe. <laughs> no, like when we travel, it's always, oh, book this, book that, fix this, where are we going, what are we gonna do? Na parang it's already my default. Like, I always have to have answers. Sometimes to a fault. Talaga. Yung parang, yeah, I'm a little bit anal about things. Okay. Yeah. Hindi na tuloy ang pagdodoktor. So, no other uh, event planner. Hindi rin. Mm -hmm. oh, talaga naging artista rin. Yes. But it came at a time kasi po na I didn't know what I wanted to do. As a person, madami akong interests eh. Mm -hmm. And then when I graduated college, I didn't know what I wanted to do. And then I left for about like six months, dapat for um, Spain. I took a short course, and then habang nandun po ako, tama wag si mami na merong audition na open mm -mm. for a show called 
Dream Dad, which is um, Zanja's show with oh. uh, Jana, who I eventually worked with also. Oh. And then when um, was that? What this year? This was about 2014. At wala pang wala pa kayo ni ano sa Sanjo no no na, not at all not at all wala, wala. wala po talaga <laughs> tapos and then after that um my first role came a year after i did workshops muna when i didn't get the role and parang yung english ko kasi it's really my first language i grew up with english, english. speakers talaga so tagalog was a lot harder for me then oh. so i also worked on that through the year na i was going to get into showbiz lost weight i was 189 pounds that no way! Yeah. A 189? Yeah, I swear. Okay. <laughs> um, I grew up a big girl. That's why Uh-oh. body positivity is my advocacy. Because I correct, get it. I correct. really do. Body positivity. I've been seeing the photos. Yes, I love thank it. You. Thank you. I love it. Thanks of course, it's cake. important to be healthy, right? Yes, of course. Kailangan healthy ka. Ano yung parang pinakamasasama mong karanasan ng 189 pounds ka? Nabuli ka ba? And did they call you names? What? I mean, it's inevitable. You know, mm-hmm. like, I was told hindi ako makakapasok sa showbiz because I was too big. Um, I was told mas mukha pa akong nanay kasi sa nanay ko. You know, stuff like that. And mm-hmm. to this day naman, meron pa rin po, like, with everything that I post. Oh, diba? Ang ugali diba? naman is what really matters. Correct. Eh? And if you're able to step on people like that to make yourself feel better, then that doesn't make you a beautiful person. Correct. And body positivity to you is... So, you finally decided to embrace embrace it Uh-oh. i feel like miss kate it was it took time till now naman work in progress eh because when you see comments it's it's a choice not to be bothered by it i think everything is a choice but yeah um i think with me body positivity is being able to embrace and celebrate your body because of and in spite of its flaws Diba? Love it! Ang galing! I love it! Meron tayong advocacy! Okay. Teka muna, sandali lang. Paano mo napapayag? By the way, para lang alam ninyo, nandito ako sa bahay nila. Anong kasalukuyang ipinapaalam kay Tito Art, kay Papa Art, at Aide, ang kanyang commercial. Yes! But why? Kasi medyo sexy, ganon? Yeah! Oo. I mean, I am 30, pero still, of course, my parents' opinions will be... Super, it's still super important to me what okay. they think and if it will affect them in any way. Kasi, and especially your dad, nung una daw, talagang ni ayaw kang ipag-artista. True. Oh. And then, paano mo siya napapayag? Actually, I didn't have to say anything. Mm. It's like, well, you're old enough. If you want to do it, do it. Mm. And parang, they just made sure na it was very tastefully done. Yun lang din naman yung hiling nila, yung hindi babastusin na... Correct. Sexy mm-hmm. campaign. Mm-hmm. And I, I think naman na-achieve naman nila yung promise na yun na... All in all, was it... You think it was an advantage or a disadvantage to have prominent parents? I think everything has its pros and cons. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. For the most part, it's just a matter of using my advantages for my... Like, for good. You Correct. know? And Uh-oh. I think kasi, Ms. K, the, the thing about having prominent parents is people think you have an easy way in. When in fact, it is an easier way in. But it comes with its own sets of struggles. You know, like, there are people constantly doubting na parang, hmm, nakuha mo lang naman yan dahil sa nanay mo. Hmm, ganyan naman. You know what I mean? Oh. Like, and I feel like that's a lot harder because ang puhunan mo na dapat doon, hindi na yung pangalan mo, kundi yung galing mo and what you're able to bring to the table beyond your name. We're, okay, we got in because of that, but we're able to sustain it because of ourselves. And I think it's a matter of that. So, kung ikaw ang tatanungin, what should a woman be pagka 30 years old? Ano ang dapat na mindset na ng isang babae pag 30 years old siya? Ako, accountable. Hmm. Yung kaya mo panindigan yung mga decision mo. Correct. At kaya mo to stand behind it. Mm-mm. Yung Even what you say, mas careful ka dapat, mas... Yung pag-iisipan talaga, hindi yung carefree. Carefree pwede, pero not so much to the point na masisira yung mga pinagtrabahuan mo. Correct. And Totoo responsible. Na. Yeah. Yun talaga eh. And you're ate. Paano naman yung balita na, Ma, magsasarili na ako, alis na ako dito. You know, when I did that, and I did it much earlier than you did, Napaiyak talaga ang mom ko, no? Pero wala siyang magawa talaga. I was decided. In your case, paano? Paano ka nagpaalam na bubukod ka na? Nako, matagal pong paalaman yun. Matagal po talaga. Parang 25 pa lang po kasi humihirit-hirit na ako na baka kailangan na. Hindi naman dahil gusto kong humiwalay sa kanila. Pero 
I'm an independent person. I'd like to think that. Pero iba kasi yung independence pag nasa labas ka na talaga eh. Yung parang yes. dito kasi may safeguards pa ako eh. Like kung 'di ba? Para kung hindi ko isipin yung kuryente, may ibang mag-iisip noon. Moving out, ako na talaga yung ay hala mapuputulan na ako, 'di ba? Parang yeah. it was more of that. Showing to them na ready na ako, showing to them na yun din yung kailangan ko to develop myself as a person. And naintindihan naman po nila. Wow. In fact, sila nga na unang tumingin dun sa place bago ko po tinignan eh. Talaga yeah. ba? Very supportive. Very, very Talagang supportive. Talagang inanalyze mong mabuti. Yun nga, at this point, I am who I am because of and in spite of my parents din. Mm-hmm. And their opinions will always matter to me. Of all of your productions, because your family is now into production, right? Ano ang pinaka-favorite mo sa lahat ng naging productions niyo? Katlia Killer. Ah, why? Because one of the most successful. Na, not only that po eh, yung preparation that went into it, I think my brother would agree. Um, it's one of the most professional sets I've ever been on. Mm. Like, yung the standards kasi na ginamit po nila, they adapted yung standards no Almost Paradise, mm-hmm. yung international production mm-hmm. na nag-assist po yung ABS. So that same approach, ganun yung ginawa nila sa amin po na parang grabe yung nakaka-professional. I mean, hindi right. naman to say na yung sets before hindi professional. Pero ibang level ng professionalism yung na-experience po namin. And uh, of course, working with my brother was a highlight. Uh, working with Dan Villegas, working with all the actors that we worked with. Kasi some, a lot of them were are also our friends. Eh. Mm-hmm. Si Ketchup Eusebio, Jake Cuenca, Jane Oineza, mm-hmm. si Tito Noni Boyd. Kami no, basta sobrang saya po. Kahit mabigat yung ginagawa namin, parang sobrang na-enjoy po namin. What a wonderful Sunday in the Atayde household kasi hindi lang tayo papakainin ng tacos on Taco Sunday. Ito rin ay araw ng mga pets. Okay, so Ria and Arjo parang asot pusa nung bata sila. Ngayon, talagang may asot pusa sila na medyo nag-aaway din. Hindi sila magkasundo, ano? Yeah. No. So, pero itong dalawang ito, hindi sila masyadong mag-besties. Hindi po. No. Hindi. Cannot. Cannot. Kasi bagong salta ito yes. eh. Yes. Tsaka, hindi ba? in my house na kasi talaga sila. My ah, cats. I see. So, they're not used to each no. other. Tsaka, okay. Dog-dominated house po. They have 11 houses, in, uh, 11 dogs in this household. 11 dogs? Yes. yes. Ilan yung sa'yo, Arjo? Two. Here. Two? Yes. And the name of this one? Clifford. Clifford, ang sama ng tingin mo dito kay Kat. Anong pangalan ni Kat? Travis. Ang sama ng tingin niya kay Travis. Wow, wow. Oh, ayan. Travis, <laughs> you're so cute. Super. We love you. We love you. Clifford, get over it. <laughs> diba? Get over it, Clifford. You're always gonna look at her. Ayan. Oh, ang sama ng tingin. Gonna look at Travis so, all the time. So, mahilig talaga kayo sa pets. Dahil. Yes. yes. Oo. No. Super. Really? Since you were little? Since you were little. All kinds of pets. Pati yung sisaw na mabibili outside school. Talaga. Pati mga goldfish na goldfish. mabibili sa labas. One day, lived goldfish. Yes. Kasi the next day, walang oxygen. Diba? Binibili nyo lang po sa supot. Alam ko, ma- ang mama mo mahilig sa baboy para lichunin. Ay, true. Yes. Favorite. Oh, Favorite. Oh, Favorite. Oh, Favorite. Oh, Nililichun niya yung so, baboy. Diba? <laughs> <laughs> Ay, talaga. Siya mismo ang gumagawa nun. And this taco is a recipe. Yes, okay, since we so, were kids. Okay, can you teach me while I ask you questions? Okay. Yes. Okay, so we'll get the taco shell. Mm-hmm. And then the meat. Ay, talagang mag-isa lang siyang ganyan. Yes. Ang gabi parang sandwich. Yes. Okay, so the meat. And then... And then, ako po kasi, I'm not magulay. Okay. So, I'm only tomatoes and cheese. Me complete naman po. I do the ah, beef. Ah, complete ka? Ako rin parang then, complete girl ako. Yes. Cheese mo na po. Ako kamay, ha? Yeah. No, no judgment, Ms. Kay. No, no judgment. problem. Uy, pero ito ha, dumadami na naman ng COVID cases. True. Yes, Kailangan po. mag-iingat pa rin po tayo. Lalo ikaw, Arjo, you're always with people. Oo oh, po, yes. So, I balik mask ulit eh, pag uh, lumalabas. So, kung pipili kayo ng partner in life, kailangan ba marunong magluto, Arjo? Uh, yes, hindi naman sa necessary po. Pero it would be good. Kung It's a good bonus. Opo, oh, good bonus na rin po yun eh. You so, know, that's what all men say. Pag-asawa nyo na, marami na kayong hinihingi. Hindi kaya. Hindi kaya ganun. Hindi ako mga-relate eh. Pag ano na. Hindi ako mga-relate? Ang nanay mo, ang galing magluto ha. Paano kang hindi mag-ano, magde-demand ng ganyan kay Maine. O sinabi na rin yung pangalan. O. Pero si mami din po nag-aral. Yes. Para, because she knows that it's an eating family din. I know that story. Two years. Nanigaw siya sa tatay mo sa pamamagitan ng pagluluto. True. 
Right? Yes. Oh, Arjo, this is for you. Oh, wow. Thank you. Made with love. Thank oh, thanks, Miss Kay. Ikaw pa po nag-serve sa amin. Yes, wow. thank you, thank you. Love that. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so ikaw naman, Ria. So totoo yun, hindi ka. Alam ni Main yun, na hindi mo siya i-require ng marunong siya magluto. Hindi naman, marunong po siya. Actually, marunong Ay, siya magluto. Ano ang specialty? Um, wala, actually, wala pa po talagang, ano, um, She likes uh, cooking May whatever. Nino, hindi niya alam ang specialty mo. Hindi, she likes cooking po whatever na maisip niyang iluto lang kasi. Ah, And okay. honestly speaking po, hindi talaga siya madalas magluto ngayon given the busy schedule. Correct. Sobrang so, busy. Sobrang busy But po. But were so, you impressed? With what? With, with her, her cooking? Food. Yes po. Yes, Totoo. Yes, yes, Ay, yes, naku, ang sweet. <laughs> talaga. Oh, ikaw naman, si Sanjo. Yes po. Nagluluto ba? Yes. Ano, yung itsura ni Sanjo, kasi parato ko siya nakikita parang naka... Shorts and sando. Parang mahilig siya sa kusina. He he eats well and he can cook po. He eats well! Oh. <laughs> so, sino ang mas madalas magluto para sa inyong dalawa? Ikaw para sa kanya o siya para sa'yo? Uh, parang we cook together din. We cook Ay, together. Ang sweet talaga naman. <laughs> Pero he, he cooks better than I do. I think I'm more baking kasi. Ah, Mas dessert. I, I have a, such a sweet tooth. Sobra. Ah, really? So what's your specialty na I can make mo? frozen brasso and red velvet cupcakes. Wow. And then recently dark chocolate peanut butter chip. Uh, chocolate. I promise to behave. Paano kayo nagkakilala ni <laughs> Ah, ano po? Uh, sa movie na Jack and Popo, it was the first time, as far as I'm concerned, it was the first time na nag-collaborate po. Ang uh, uh, APT, Boss. yeah, si the uh, uh, bossing po, and mm. si Coco in one movie. Okay. So that was the time, and obviously, Main is also part of the project. They're the, the three main leads that we had si uh, nice. Bossing, uh, Main, and Coco. And dun po kami nagkakalala sa movie lang eh. And dun na kayo nagkagustuhan? Uh, took time, but practically, kasi it, there's a story beyond that pa eh. Parang it was way back when that. Yeah. Um, there's something to do with the tweet of hers before, and I saw her and her videos in CSB before. So, may mga connection pa na that eventually led us to meeting. Because prior to that, no, uh, to be honest, we were supposed to be meeting because of a project or whatever mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. I was gonna do with GMA as well. Mm -hmm. Pero hindi nga po natuloy dati yung project. Pero hindi mo naman siya so may times na well, there's wala po kami chance na magkakilala except for that time lang talaga because. Two different networks, eh. so it was really okay. by chance lang po that we met there. That's wow, Romeo and Juliet, two different networks. <laughs> and then, oh, but that was duna na, duna na, duna po nagsimula from from. The okay, movie. kaya nga hindi tinarget mo ba siya? Kasi mag, may bakod eh. So ano yung nagover the bakod ka? Paano yun talagang? You made a way so that. The, well, Yeah, we, I made the way when we were there already, but being given the opportunity that came from the production. Ah. Luckily, luckily lang po talaga nangyari yung project. Ah, really? Because there, we were supposed to be in one project, I think, uh, pra practically yeah. before that one happened. Oh. So, hindi po nangyari the second time around we met and the rest is until today. So, wow! <laughs> How long na ba kayo? Uh, four years. Tagal na rin, oh, oh, so, so. Kayo ni Sanjo, ilan na? About a year na rin po. A year? Yung inamin mo? Hindi. Pero magkakilala, matagal na po kasi kami magkakilala. Ah, matagal na makakilala. Pero yung inamin mo, totoong yun na yun. Yeah, I think so. I'm not sure, Miss Kay. Inuhuli ko lang kayo. Pero one year, I think. How about one year? No judging ah. Huwag nang tingnan ng tako ko. No judging. Huwag kayong magbantay. Punong-puno ito. Huwag kayong magbabantay. Okay, tapos. So, People are wondering, why are you both so secretive sa mga love life nyo? Parang ayaw nyong pag-usapan masyado. Bakit ganon? Maybe because everything we do is already so public. Okay. There are some things you wanna keep for yourself. Is I that think. even possible? I think so. It's uh, been working yeah. out naman for us. Like, kasi yes. diba, parang ngayon social media, people are so... Parang they feel so entitled na maging part nun. Yung tipong... Diba? Kailangan mo pa-explain sarili mo. Okay na kami. It's more of having a more peaceful relationship where something na hindi nila, no one can break it because they don't know about it. Right. So, for us lang po is yun. I think that's a bit of the privacy that we want as human beings, practically as individuals, to be able to have our personal lives to ourselves. We can share here and there po, pero more than that, we just 
personally, both sides, me and Maine as well, just like Zanjo and Ria, is we want to keep it more private lang po talaga. Ayun. Talagang yung unang bagsak lang ng pag-amin ng unang beses, no? Mm. Yun lang talaga. You have to be ready for that. And you're over that. Tapos na. No. Kayo ba? I mean, you're okay that it's the same industry? Yes po. No, I, we had never had comparisons between one another. There's no, ano. Like, we, we just go with it. Work is work. And, you know, the showbiz is a business. It's a job. It's not our lives. We have a life outside as well to to move forward with and no, uh, to build a family, etc. So to us, um, yun po, we just, I can't explain, but really it's personal to us. Eh. We just really want to... Mm, okay, so walang mga professional whatever na, oh, may taping ka na naman, di na tayo nagkikita. I think ganun. if anything po, Miss Kay, mas nakakatulong nga po na artista din sila in terms of understanding yung busy schedule. Kasi gets nila eh. Yeah. Di na namin kailangan ni-explain na, ganito schedule ko, ganyan, ganyan erratic, di ba? Right. Like, it's a different thing every day. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So now, you're not just actors, you're also producers. Yes, yeah. yeah. Right? Yes. So you're not pressure naman to cast your girlfriend and your boyfriend. Oh no. No, but ah. anything parang <laughs> yeah. we wanted to be the f not naman that uh, not for anything, no. We really wanted to be a production that is story driven more than the actors. We right. wanted to write the story and not make an actor fit instead just write it freely and eventually cast the actor who's perfect and capable for that certain level of uh, or intensity of acting depends ah, of the story so, mm -hmm. so talagang ano talagang not for the star power mm -hmm. and all that no hindi ganun. i see okay so eh, pero mapagsasabay mo ba yung production acting and politics production po is more of ria and my mom who's mm -hmm. handling it mm -hmm. Uh, me, I'm, uh, after the pandemic happened, when, the, when ABS shut down, obviously, uh, we're lucky that our parents helped us. We were able to invest on different things and start several businesses. So, um, yun po, napagsasabay naman. As I said po, it's really time management. Eh. Correct. That's the, that's the perfect way to handle it. Eh. Um, kaya naman po lahat. It's really tiring, as I said. Uh, yeah, I won't complain, so <laughs> but um, that's work. I gotta you move forward. Up. At least as early as now po, magawa ko din po yung mga gusto ko. No? Oh, uh, why yeah. before? Do yes. Do Kasi all. I don't, I don't, diba? I don't wanna be doing and be very busy until I get old. I wanna spend, my imagination, like where me and Ria came from sa family, I wanna be a father to my children. I wanna be there. I right. wanna be hands-on. So, mm -hmm. you know, as time goes by, I told my mom, things will change. Correct. So I'll also have my own family. Oh, ikala ka mag-aanak. <laughs> Arjo muna. <laughs> yeah, Arjo muna. <laughs> Nape-pressure. Hindi <laughs> naman po nakaka-pressure. If anything, mas ano, was excited. It's an exciting okay. thing. It's an exciting thing, sure. Clifford, wag kang magulo. Bye, Clifford. I have something important to ask your puppy. Okay. <laughs> Kailan? Kailan ang D-Day um, ng wedding? To be honest, Paul, no, we can't also uh, uh, say it yet. We want to keep it personal. Ah, but you have a date. Yes, Paul. We're, we're uh, in the process of planning oh, our nice. big day. Um, we're, we're enjoying every bit of it, I have to say. I'm really enjoying with her. And um, I'm just looking forward to it. But for now, po, hindi po po namin pwede sabihin. But oh, okay. Hopefully in time once we can then. Right, yeah. right. Wow, mal pero malapit na. Uh, <laughs> within this year? Within this oh, year within po. This year. Yes. Oh, at least yun, alam natin. Oh, sigurado na, wala nang urungan. Oh, oh, wala, wala na, wala na. Wala nang urungan, wala nang urungan. O oh, oh, sige na nga, ito na lang, sabi ko magbe-behave ako. Anong nagustuhan mo kay Ming? Why is she the one? Um, to be honest, but it's I, we have we all have this imagination of when you meet that person one day. No? Um, definitely, um, it, everything, eh, everything about her. It just really clicked, Miss Corina. I can't explain. No? Sabi ko nga, there's no slow mo, there's no whatever, like how it comes in fairy tales. But it is my fairy tale. That's that's how it is to me. No? It's very sincere. It came in in an unexpected way, in an unexpected time. And um, actually, I think it's the perfect time. It, it, we're all we're both emotionally ready. We're both um, very happy. I, I guess I can speak for her now. <laughs> and um, the qualities is she a practical girl? Practical, very very practical. Ah, okay. Um, she's also malambing in her own ways. She's very logical, as I said, and um, she's very 
She's very kind-hearted and very God-fearing, I have to say. Ah. Really is. Really okay. is. So those are the things that, um, to be honest, sometimes a personal, uh, no, is, I lack. And okay. she's there to fill it in all the time. So whatever, you know, I have my weaknesses as well. And she just tries to fill in those as well. She so brings out the best thing. I can't explain, but yes, super nagswak lang talaga, Ms. Corina. It just, it wasn't forced. Correct. It wasn't a forced, I like you. It was, it just went. It Where just, um, it was a different experience. Oh, we're so happy for you. So no, para, thank you. Ano, parang pinagtadhana talaga silang dalawa. Oy, ikaw naman, pangiti-ngiti ka lang dyan. <laughs> ano naman ang sayo? Anong kwento mo? Ayun, it also makes sense. Uh, mas ano lang po, we started out as friends, so we've known each other for a while. And there was no like best foot forward, yung kilala na po namin yung isa't isa agad. And I think that makes for a solid foundation naman in a relationship. Mm -hmm. And so far it's worked for us. Okay. I think we make sense too. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Pasado? Uh, I don't think anyone will ever be pasado, but he's he gets along well with. At least honest, yeah. He gets along very well with Z. Oh good. Yeah. Oh good. So you have family dinners, everybody yeah. at the table. Yeah, we've, we've even with Maine, like we've had yung several occasions na magkakasama. Ay ang saya. Yeah. Saya saya naman. It's okay. Nice. O sige na nga, titigil na ako doon. Mahaba na yung interview natin. Tama na, wag na kayong mag-isip na magtatanong pa ako ng iba. Cheers na lang tayo sa tacos. Thank you. Cheers. 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 Cheers to mother. Cheers. Ma the mother to the father and to the mother and father to be. Yeah. Cheers. Only on Karina interviews. Oh. Tama ba? It's just cheese and mm -hmm. meat for you. Yeah.